Okay, thanks to Accent Mark 5, I'm taking another look at what I call the timer riddle. So let me just quickly introduce this riddle. The premise is again that you have two timers, and one of the timers is a five minute timer, and the other timer is a three minute timer. And your goal is to somehow use these two to measure exactly four minutes. That's our goal, to measure four minutes. So the question becomes, how do you do this, and uh, what is the fastest time you can do this in? And just to, to really clarify here, uh, with this riddle, these two timers, you can't really set them halfway. You can only use them uh, to measure out the, the increments that they measure, which is either five minutes or three minutes. So I want to go on and, and, and share the solution that Accent Mark 5 shared um, so that you see a faster way of solving this than I had originally come up with. But if you want to try this riddle, pause it right here and then come back to it. So what do we do? Well, um, we can set both timers off at the same time. So we set the five minute timer off and the three minute timer. And you can imagine the five minute timer will tick for five minutes. But the three minute timer, of course, after three minutes, it will ring or something. So here we have a ring right here. OK, and then once it rings, reset it so it runs again. It'll run another three minutes, right? So we have these three minute chunks. And right here, when it rings a second time, that will have been six minutes. But what you can really focus in on here is that um, when the five minute timer rings here, it starts to count again. Right, let's draw another five minute sequence. Um, here's a ring right here. Between that five minute ring and this three minute ring right here, we have how much time? Well, that's, that's one minute, right? Let's just maybe write this down here. This is one minute, right? Because the, the three minute timer had gone off after three minutes, and then you start it right again, and the five minute timer will tick for two more minutes, right? Three and two is five, and then the three minute timer has another minute to go. So that's a one minute right there. And what we can realize then is that if we run the three minute timer again, right, it'll ring right here, that's another three minutes. And that's how long we need to actually bake our cake or whatever, or do whatever we're trying to do here. We have a one minute time and a three minute time. That is four minutes. So how do we actually use that to measure out four minutes? Well, all we have to do is look at the moment when the five minute timer first rings over here, right? And then count the next two rings of the three minute timer. And that will be a total of four minutes. And altogether, now I'd originally solved this. When I solved it, I looked at it uh, in this time span right here. That's, that's 10 minutes. But really, this solution right here, which is given by accent mark 5, is 9 minutes long. It's a whole minute shorter. So that's really great. Thanks.